Okay, so we want to go ahead and graph this. And usually when we've graphed, ladies and gentlemen, it's been very helpful when we had our equations in y equals mx plus b4. Right? Because when we had it in that form, we knew exactly what our y-intercept was, and we knew exactly what the slope was. So the problem that we have right now is this is not in y equals mx plus b form. Right? We don't have our y solved by itself. So there's two things you can do. One thing is you can simply solve your inequality for your variable y. So to do that, Ivy, what you need to do is, if I have my y and I have the 2 fifths x added to it, what I need to do is to get rid of that 2 fifths x. So I can simply subtract a 2 fifths x on the left and the right side. Now, therefore, that's going to cancel out the 0. So I'd be left with y is greater than or equal to negative 2 fifths x plus 2. All right, the reason it's plus 2 because that's a positive 2. So therefore, you guys can write your equation like this. And then, like the previous problems I've showed you, you can you know, use this to uh, graph your problem, where 2 would be your um, slope intercept, right? And your slope would be negative 2 fifths. Now, let's say some of you are really having trouble with your, um, let's say some of you are having trouble with, uh, your, with solving for y. And, or maybe let's, let's say there's a number in front of y, so it's going to be very hard for you to do that. All right? So there's another way you guys can do this. If you remember, remember finding the x and y intercepts? You guys remember we did that? The exact same thing. Remember, an easy way to help you out is when you have um, your x and y that are on the same side, you can just say the x-intercept is when y equals 0, and the y-intercept is when x equals 0. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to rewrite these equations. for my two intercepts. And then this one I just write in uh, 2 fifths times 0 plus y is greater than or equal to, uh, to 2. So uh, by doing this, I get that 2 fifths x plus 0 is just going to be 2 fifths x is greater than or equal to 2. Well, now I need to get rid of my 2 fifths. So I'm going to multiply by 5 halves on both sides. Therefore, x is now greater than or equal to, what's 2 times 5 halves? Well, I can change that to a fraction. 2 times 5 is 10, divided by 2 is 5. All right? Then I go over here, and I just have y is greater than or equal to 2. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and set these up and determine um, what our graph is going to look like. So I go over to, I just treat these, remember, just treat these just like they're your intercepts. So x is 5, positive 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And y is 2, 1, 2. Okay, so now what we need to determine is um, when is our graph, is it going to be true or false? So what I'll do is, oops, I'm sorry, that's a greater than or equal to, right? Since it's a greater than or equal to, we know it's going to be a solid line. And then simply what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in 0, 0 and determine is that going to make my equation true or false. So I'm going to plug in 0, 0 right here. And if I was going to use a test point for 0, 0, I'd say test 0, comma 0. And if you plug 0 in for x and y, you have 2 fifths times 0 plus 0 is greater than or equal to 2. Is 0 greater than or equal to 2? False, right? So therefore, you have to shade above the line. Now the other way you guys can kind of look at this is also think about it. When you solve for your x-intercept, here's another way to do it. Look at this says all values of y have to be greater than 2. And this says all values of x have to be greater than 5. So what that really means is our x values have to be greater than 5. And our y values we want to be greater than 2. So you guys can tell that. As long as it's one of these two, you can see where we're going to be shading the graph. Does that make sense? All right. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that's how you graph when you do not have it solved for y. Okay.